Story time about how my best friend was obsessed with me. And I'm not saying obsessed as in, oh my god, like, you know, she does her hair like me. No, I'm saying in a creepy way. So a little background information, I was 14 and it was the summer before I was going into high school and I had this best friend who we're gonna call Madison. Now, I met Madison like a month before school ended. She was one of those kids that nobody really liked and nobody wanted to be near, but we were partnered up in this one class and she's actually really funny. So since summer just started, I invited her over to have a sleepover at my house. Everything went well, we were swimming, we watched movies, but my house was in a really wooded area, so if you had certain phone carriers, you wouldn't get any reception. So she asked if she could use my iPad to text her dad, and it was like 11 o'clock at night, so I let her use it, and then we went to sleep. Well, I woke up around 3 in the morning because my phone kept going off, like for part 2. Part two about how my best friend was obsessed with me in a creepy way. So like I said, I woke up at three in the morning because my phone kept going off and it wasn't dinging or anything. It was just a light flashing when it would go off and on. So I look around for Madison and then I see my bathroom light is on, but the door is shut. So I just brush it off and I go on my phone and I see a bunch of text messages that were sent from me, but they weren't sent from me. Like obviously somebody had went on my iPad and started sending people messages. So I look at these messages and it's all texting Madison. And I kid you not, it's literally pictures of me while I'm sleeping that she sent to herself. Like there was a picture of my hair, a picture of one of my birthmarks. And then on her side of the nightstand, there was literally a lock of my hair. Like she cut my hair off and it was in a Ziploc bag. So at this point, I'm actually really creeped out and I go and tell my mom. And my mom talked to her mom and apparently she's done this before. Am I the asshole for changing all the locks in my house without letting my mom know? When I, 23 male, was 15, my dad died. My mom moved her new partner in just two months later. Anyway, my dad left everything to me, not even a dime to her. They weren't married. The will was so structured that she couldn't challenge it. She attempted and even asked me to pass over one of my properties to show my new dad that he was welcome. She would also always prioritize his kids to keep them happy. She would go on trips with them but ask me, wouldn't you like to go to your grandparents better? I knew what that meant. When I turned 17, she asked me to leave. Am I the asshole for changing all the locks in my house without letting my mom know? She asked me to leave my own house because I kept fighting with her man. I reminded him of whose house it was and he wanted to play the man of the house card. I called him John Conroy. My grandparents told me to avoid confrontation so I went to live with them. My mom would visit me often and tell me how much she loved me but needed to keep peace at home. After college, I decided to check my properties and also the one my mom is living at. I wanted to renovate it to rent it since it's a good one and can't help me afford my masters. I went to inform my mom, but no one was there, and I later found out they were on vacation. Am I the asshole for changing all the locks in my house without letting my mom know? I called my mom, but she didn't answer, so I proceeded to change the locks, mainly to officially take possession. They arrived yesterday and, of course, could not get in. They then called me, but I wasn't in town, and I went today because some renovation works will start in a few weeks. I was in the backyard and my mom came in furious, yelling at me about how dare I do that. We talked and I let them know they have two weeks to leave and her husband and unemployed, I mean sorry, self-employed, was furious. My mom and her stepdaughter started crying because she's pregnant and I'm sorry but I made up my mind. Am I the asshole for flipping out on my husband for lying to my boss and telling him I had a miscarriage? I'm 29 female and pregnant and work a full-time job. My husband, 31 male, works part-time and visits his family almost daily. He complains that I miss events even though they have a party every week. He said this is affecting how his mom sees me and the way I prioritize work over family. Well, last week he wanted me to attend his cousin's gender reveal party and I refused because of work. He pitched a hissy fit because he told me to take the day off, but I couldn't. The next day he went behind my back and sent a text to my boss. It said I was at the hospital because I was having a miscarriage. Am I the asshole for flipping out at my husband for lying to my boss and telling him I had a miscarriage? For a minute, I thought it was a joke, but seeing how my boss responded confirmed it. My boss didn't even know I was pregnant and I didn't want to tell him or others till later on. Of course, I asked my husband what the hell was going on. 
He said this was a desperate attempt to get me some time off work and focus on what matters. I flipped out and said this was my livelihood, but he said I basically made him resort to this. I asked how I was going to deal with this ridiculous lie. He said to say it was a scare and I said I was not going to the party. He said I just don't want to spend time with his family and I'm selfish. Am I the asshole for refusing to buy equal gifts for my children? My daughter, 14, wrote a giant list for her birthday, but at the top was something called a Dyson Airwrap. She's really into TikTok and had a bunch of things related to that listed. I was tempted to get what she asked for, but when I saw the price tag, I backed off. I feel like that sort of price for what boils down to a hairdryer isn't a suitable thing for a girl her age. Instead, I got some minor things on her list and also a nice hair dryer and some hair rollers. When she opened her gift, she was immediately silent and didn't bother to thank me or her mother. She then went to her room and didn't come out for a while. Am I the asshole for refusing to buy equal gifts for my children? Later that week, an argument broke out over her behavior and she went off on everyone. She considered it a grand injustice that last year, my son got what he wanted. My son, Aaron, 16, did good on his exams and got a Lego set he had been wanting. He has an obsession with Lego and has been struggling with depression and anxiety over the year. The set was more expensive than the hair dryer, but it really perked him up and I feel like he needed it. My daughter thinks it's a crime that I got Aaron something like that unprompted while not going above and beyond for her birthday. I think she's being really immature. I the asshole for reporting my car missing after my husband took it? My husband, 35, does not have a car. He sold his old one to help pay for his brother's wedding. I did not agree on this, but he had his car before we got together. I have my own car, so I didn't think it would affect me until my husband started complaining about having to commute to work and hang out places. He's asked multiple times to drive my car, but I've stood firm and I will not because he's a bad driver. Anyways, my brother lives out of town and my husband asked if he could drive it to the wedding, but I refused. Not because I'm not invited, but like I said, it's off limits. He then threw a fit and called me unreasonable. Am I the asshole for reporting my car missing after my husband took it? The day he was supposed to travel out of town, I woke up and couldn't find my car key. Then I realized my car was nowhere to be found. I called him and like I expected, he took it and was on his way to the other town. I lost it and told him I gave him no permission to take the car for five days. I threatened to call the police if he didn't turn it around and he said that I wouldn't do it. I called the cops and reported it missing without saying it was my husband. Two hours later, I got a call from my husband saying he was back in town and being held at a local police station. I went to the station and talked to the cops. Am I the asshole for reporting my car missing after my husband took it to attend his brother's wedding? I talked to the cops and my husband made a scene there swearing over and over that I gave him permission to take it. He said that I was acting out of jealousy and spite because he was going to attend a wedding that I was not invited to. I took my car and went home, but he had to stay a little longer. He came home in the evening and went on a rage fit about how I created an awful situation and almost caused him to miss his brother's wedding. He called me vindictive, bitter, and a lunatic to call the police on him and try to accuse him of stealing my car. He still left to the wedding and decided to extend his stay and hasn't gotten back yet. 